Thanks for joining us for part two in our series of how to set up forms-based authentication or FBA in SharePoint 2016. In part two, we will talk about setting up our SQL database so that forms-based users can log in. We recommend using the SQL membership provider, A, because it's more secure, and B, because it allows for more features for our users, such as user self-service, role providers, and things like that. So the first thing we need to do is create our SQL database. And the way you do that is you'll first need to go to C Windows. We'll go down to Microsoft.net, Framework 64. And then we're going to choose the version 4.030319. So now we're going to be looking for the ASP.NET underscore reg SQL. So now that our application is pulled up, we'll bring this down to the middle so we can see it. We're going to go ahead and click next. We're not going to remove anything, so we'll just have to configure SQL Server for Application Services. You'll see that we already have our server in place. And then under database name, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to put in here FBA. We'll click Next. Next again. The Finish button. So let's go look at our database. So we're going to fire up SQL Management Studio. So let's go open up database, then FBA. So we can see it's been created properly, has uh, the correct schema, and has everything it needs for us uh, to create the FBA database. The next thing we need to do is be sure our application pool identities for both the security token service as well as our content site have the correct permissions for the database. We do that by going to security, then users, and then from here we're going to add users. But to do that, before we do it, let's go ahead and verify our users uh, in our application pool. So we're going to open up our IIS manager. Let's go to our application pools. And we see that next to our security token service, uh, we actually have the SP underscore farm identity. And for our FBA, we have the SP underscore app pool. So let's go add these two users to our database. I'm using uh, SQL Server 2014 and I'm going to go to Users, right click and go New User. First thing I need to do is User Type, this will be a Windows user. And we're going to do a search for our first user, so SB underscore farm. Check the name. We'll click next to that name, click OK. OK again. And I'm going to go and copy the login name, and we'll make that the username also. Now, at this point, we want to go to our membership over on the top left, and we want to make sure and give this user full access. So there's going to be five items we'll need to check here, and each one of those next to it says full access. So we have five of them. We click OK, and you can see we've created the user. So now let's go uh, create our second user. So again, we're going to go to New User, select Windows User. Let's do a search, and it's going to be SP underscore app underscore pool. Let's check the name. We'll click next to that name. Click OK. OK. Again, we're going to use the login name. Copy it and paste it in for the username. Go up to our membership. And again, we're going to have five items that have full access. So this user will have full access to the database. Click OK. So we've added the two new users and they have the permissions that they need for the database. This completes part two of our four part series. In part three, we will actually go in and we will edit the web config files. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again.